What we want to do is write a program that prints Pascal's triangle to the screen. And once again, we're going to ask the user for the number of rows, and we're not, allow them, we're not going to allow them to enter a negative number. So this is Pascal's triangle. Um, we basically have 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, and so on. And I'm going to give you the formula that you'll use to calculate these numbers. We're still we're going to keep some of this code because we still have the rows, like we're going to ask the user for the rows still, but we're going to want a coefficient. So in this Pascal triangle, um, each one of these numbers is called a coefficient. So we're going to we're going to want a, a variable to store the coefficients. So and I'm going to start it out at one. And then we can keep the enter the number of rows and also this so our while loop to verify that they enter a positive non-zero number. And then I'm just going to redo these four loops. So the the way the the algorithm for this code is going to work, let's Let's actually write down um, the algorithm, and then we'll go through the code. So first of all, I'm going to, like, I kind of want to think about this as a grid. And so it's kind of the same thing as the problem we just did. We basically, our, like, our, our nested loops are creating sort of a grid that we can, that each, the outer loop is setting up the rows, and the inner loop is setting up the columns. So we can think about this as um, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we don't actually know how many rows we're going to get because we're getting that from the user. And then we can think about our, like, our um, inner loop is setting up the, the columns. So this would be um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven, eight. Well, it really only goes to six. Four, five. Let's see. These aren't aligned perfectly, but um, just you. I I think you, that you hopefully you get the idea that the these are representing the outer loop. So this is going to be I. This is going to be our row. And then these numbers are representing the inner loop, which is going to be J. So this is going to be our column index. So this is our row index. And so our algorithm is that each of the, so the outer loop is going to go to the new row. So the outer loop isn't really doing much. The, the complicated part in this program is figuring out your inner loop. So the inner loop is going to actually display these numbers. So you're, so for instance, the first time your inner loop runs, it's going to display a 1. The set, and then the outer loop is going to go to the next row. The second time the inner loop runs, it's going to run twice, and it's going to display a 1-1. One, one. And then it's going to go, and then it, it's going to exit, and um, the outer loop is going to go to the next row. And then our inner loop is going to run again, display the one, two, one, and so on. And then this, this, uh, this program, or this, so Pascal's triangle is a little bit different from what we just did, because what we just did, we were basically doing this. So we didn't need to worry too much about what was happening here. Like for this program, we have all these spaces we need to worry about, right? So we're not just displaying a 1, we're displaying a bunch of spaces, and then a 1. And so what we need to do in the inner loop is first we need to calculate the um, number, well we need to calculate and display the number of spaces that we need before the 1. So calculate and display spaces before, and I'm just going to call it before the coefficient is displayed so that it's more general. Um, and then the second thing the inner loop is going to need to do is it's going to need to calculate and display these coefficients. 
So calculate and display coefficients. And so this is basically the algorithm. Now let's look at how this will work in the code. So we know that we need two loops. We know that we're going to need an outer loop and an inner loop to do this. So let's just start with that. So four and um, our outer loop is going to go through the rows. So I'm just going to have int i is equal to one. And you're right, i and j are bad. Um, they aren't the greatest names. But when I do rows and columns like this, I'll often just use i and j. So, and the reason why is because I'm using rows and columns. I could call it row. In fact, calling it row might be better, but then I need to think about something else to ask the user. I guess we could do like max row. So let's call this int row is equal to one. And then let's call this variable that we get from the user max row, just so we're using variables that are a little more, descri a little more descriptive. And then so we need to change this to max rows. And then this is going to be um, max rows and so now we're now this is a little more descriptive because this outer loop is going through the rows. So we have int row is equal to i, and then this is going to run to the number of max rows. So row plus center equal to max row, and then we're going to have row plus plus because after we we need to increment our rows, and then. We're actually going to have, um, well, let's just do our, we're actually going to have two inner for loops. One of the inner loops is going to calculate our spaces, because remember, if we go back to the algorithm, <clears throat> we had the inner loop is going to calculate and display the spaces before the coefficient, and it's going to calculate and display the coefficient. So I'm actually going to do this with two loops. The first loop is going to calculate and display spaces. So it's not going to put anything but spaces to the screen. And the second loop is going to calculate the coefficients. So I'm going to call this for loop. I'm going to call it the variable space, because it's calculating the spaces on each row. And I'm going to start at 1. So in space is 1. And then space less than or equal to, this is going to be less than or equal to rows minus one. So we have the spaces. And so all this space is going to, all this for loop with the spaces is going to do is print some spaces to the screen. So I'm going to start with two, and we might need to adjust that. And so what this is doing so far is we, and I'm, I'm not going to run this because it's not going to print anything at this point. It's just going to look blank. But basically, all we're doing is we have row equals 1. So we're running the outer loop from row 1 to the max row. And this inner loop is running for each row. And it's printing, this, it's printing spaces to the screen. And those spaces are decreasing each time, we, um, each time this inner loop runs because we have this space as less than or equal to rows. max rows. So now we need the loop that's actually going to print our coefficients. Actually, one way to do this, it might have been easier to do this. Let's just comment out these spaces first, and we'll add those later. I think it might be easier to see how this is working if we put that in last. So for the inner loop, we want int. And these are the columns, remember, so I'm going to call it col for column. So this is equal to, um, this is going to start it. I'm going to start this. And I actually want to start this at 0 as well. So I'm going to start these at 0. I want this to, see, this is going to be j less than. And so this is column less than or equal to row. And then I'm going to have column plus plus. And then 
one thing to, like if we go back and look at this triangle, notice how all of our outer numbers on both sides of this triangle are one. So we can do an if statement. The other thing to notice is if, if either row is equal to zero or column is equal to zero, this coefficient is going to be equal to one. So we can just do an if statement and just put those in, and then we'll um, calculate the other numbers. So this is going to be if, I want this to be if row is equal to 0 or column is equal to 0, then we just want to say that the coefficient is equal to 1. Else. And then the way we're going to calculate the coefficients for Pascal's triangle is the formula is the coefficient is equal to the current coefficient multiplied by, um, this is rho minus column plus 1. And this is divided by column. Hopefully that's right. And actually want this. Oh, so this is good. And so the reason why we need an if statement here, um, if you try and calculate all of your coefficients with this equation, including all of the ones, you're going to end up dividing by zero. So that's why we need to use the if else statement to um, to figure out what our coefficient is. And then all we're going to do is print out the coefficient that we calculated. So this is coefficient, and I'm put some spaces after it. And I actually had to play around to get the spaces right. It turns out you need three. But um, just so you know, with these sorts of programs, often you have to play around with your um, with the spaces that you're putting in to get things set up correctly. So this is our inner loop. And then after we run the inner loop, before we start the outer loop again, we want to go to the next line. So let's see what this is doing, what this should be doing. Since I, I commented out the code for the spaces for now, so this should be printing what I am hoping this is going to do is print out Pascal's triangle like this. because we haven't put the spaces in yet. So let's um, see if this is working, and then if it is, we'll add the spaces to get it looking like the triangle. And then of course there's an error. Okay, this is max rows. There's always going to be an error. Let's see if it actually works. Five. Oh, and I want to print out the actual coefficient, not the word coefficient. Do five. All right. So let's see if these numbers look right. So we have one, 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 two, one, one, three, three, one. So yeah, these numbers look right. So this is really similar to the, the program we did a little bit earlier with the stars and the numbers. The only difference is we're calculating these coefficients for Pascal's triangle. The, I did the spacing a little bit different just because we're going to be displaying this as a triangle instead of how I have it here. Also, remember, we needed to use this if statement because I'll just show you what happens. If we try to calculate all of the coefficients with just this formula, it's going to try and divide by zero. So it's going to, it's not going to work, but I'll show you what happens. Five. So floating point exception, um, core dumped. That means I tried to divide by zero. So basically the program crashed. And 
so that's why, so if you had a, written this program and say you thought you could just calculate the coefficients because that's reasonable to think that and you get this error that then you would realize oh I divided by zero so then you would realize oh well I'm going to need to do an if else statement and just do the put the ones in so I don't end up dividing by zero because it ends up dividing by zero when it calculates those ones. So now let's put the spaces in. So we've already written our for loop for the spaces. So probably the, the way I would recommend doing this program is getting this first part working without the spaces because that's, I think that's a little more straightforward. Putting the spaces in is where this gets a little bit confusing. So get the first part working, then put your spaces in. So let's see if this works. And I have, this is, what hap this is also what happens when you try to change variable names, you, um, you have to make sure you change them all the right way. <coughs> Something isn't working quite right with this. Oh, this should be minus, this is minus row. There we go. So yeah, with this program, you're, if you write something like this in your lab this week, is kind of like this program. You're likely going to have to go through a few iterations to get your output right. So I'd recommend getting all of your numbers correct, like verify that it's calculating things correctly, and then work on the um, formatting. And this is pretty cool. Like this, we can put in like a larger number. Well, that didn't work very well. Maybe not that large. Let's try 10 there. <laughs> so the, the really large number went to the um, next line, but even this one's going to the next line. But anyway, I, I think this is a pretty cool um, program.